խաղաս լոթեր, բտիր հաջողության անիվն ու ստացիր շահումը կրկնապատկելու հնարավորություն։ Աջարաբետ կետ է եմ։ Եվրոպական միություն նեին Our main purpose in Armenia is to uh, support uh, the ordinary Armenians in having better lives, in developing the economy, in developing the rule of law and democracy. And I believe that the ordinary Armenians appreciate it very much. The last uh, two weekends I was on tour in Kapan, Ihagnazor, Ijevan, Dilijan, Gyumri. And I can tell you, you should regret that you are not with us because we had thousands of people who were very appreciative of the work that the European Union is doing in Armenia. Let me remind that the European Union is the biggest donor to Armenia together with our member states. We contribute more than 50% of all development assistance coming to Armenia. And we are the most consistent supporters of the reforms in, in your country. We do not support people, politicians, or governments. We support reforms. We support good things done by Armenians, including by the Armenian government. <laughs> when the Armenian government does good things, they can count on us. When the National Assembly does good things, they can support on us. And as you know, uh, we are supporting the National Assembly. We have uh, launched uh, a twinning program uh, to support capacity building uh, for the National Assembly. We support other institutions of Armenia and uh, we will not be discouraged. We understand that there may be people who know too little or who understand too little or who do not want to know or do not want to understand, but they will not discourage us because uh, we know that ordinary Armenians appreciate what the European Union is doing uh, for this country. Well, I, I believe that your question uh, is uh, <laughs> a rhetorical one. Yes. I am a big fan of culture and uh, I uh, am very grateful to people like uh, Maestro Spantian and other people of Armenia uh, who really show their talents and make uh, Yerevan a very lively cultural city. I do not miss any opportunity. My problem is of course that I have many professional duties, but you know, here even, I feel at home in this uh, Aram Hachatrian Hall, I feel at home because I come here every week. Uh, I go to other events, other concerts of different sorts. And uh, I really want to strengthen this cultural link between Europe and Armenia. And in the past year, in 2018, we have contributed a lot. We have contributed, I believe, more than 150,000 uh, to support different cultural events in Europe. And let me, let me stress that we are not promoting European no. culture. We are supporting Armenian culture because we believe that Armenian culture can bring something important to Europe. It is still not known well enough, in particular the modern culture, 
young talents like our Sorry. conductor today, although he's 22, so he spends yeah. more, <laughs> most of his time <laughs> in <laughs> Europe, <laughs> not in Armenia, I'm sorry. But what, what was it, in your opinion? Is Armenian culture European culture? Oh, very much. Oh, very much. You will see it today. I will uh, show you on stage one example how close we are. Uh, and you are unique because uh, Armenia is an ancient civilization. You have this span, historical span, and you have your own roots. You have your folk elements very strong. Uh, but uh, I believe, and I can tell you, even after I finish my job here, I will become the ambassador of Armenian music, of Armenian uh, paintings, visual arts, Armenian theatre. But the main music, please. Main music, music yes. yeah. Man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You support all the reforms happening yes. in Armenia. What happened yesterday, the demonstrations in front of cor courts and in front of your embassy, uh, those were all aimed to support the reforms of establishment of transitional justice. What is the viewpoint of European Union of establishing and developing the transitional justice? In Let me say it very openly. The European believes that reform of justice in Armenia is vital for the future of your country. I would say that deep and comprehensive reform of justice is essential for your future, for several reasons. But the main reason is that uh, the Armenian people do not trust the courts. In the past years, the European Union financially supported independent studies which showed that too many Armenians do not trust the courts. Even today we published a partnership implementation report and you will find the passages referring to other institutions saying Armenia has a problem. Too many people do not trust the courts. So uh, you need reforms in order to restore this public trust. You need deep and comprehensive reforms. Of course, as the European Union, we believe that these reforms should be conducted uh, respecting the Constitution, respecting uh, the Armenian international commitments, including uh, through its membership in the Council of Europe, and also uh, respecting our mutual commitments on uh, the justice reform as reflected in SEPA. Uh, but um, the European Union, I can confirm it today, uh, it's the official position of the European Union that we are ready to support deep and comprehensive reforms of justice in Armenia through technical assistance, through financial assistance. I open the bracket, very tangible as financial assistance. Uh, and uh, we uh, take the commitment expressed by uh, the Prime Minister, by the government, to uh, reform justice yesterday as a very strong commitment. Uh, we never impose ourselves, but the Armenian government should know that they can rely on our support in conducting these reforms on the basis of these principles, uh, as I outlined. We have started with Armenia a policy dialogue on justice reforms. Uh, we encourage the government to elaborate the measures of reforms uh, on the basis of inclusive dialogue with civil society, with the judicial institutions, with legal professions, with all stakeholders. And I repeat, we are ready to support these deep and comprehensive reforms. And shortly, last question. You mentioned many people do not trust uh, the courts. What do you think is the reason behind this broken trust? Well, I would uh, refer you to our studies, which uh, I believe are very reliable. And there are many, many reasons for that. Uh, I believe uh, that, as reflected uh, in our partnership report, the two main reasons is uh, corruption in the past and uh, political dependence, political manipulation of the courts. Uh, I believe that uh, the main reasons why people didn't trust and have a problem restoring the trust 
is particularly corruption and political manipulation. I refer you to our freshly issued, two hours ago, <laughs> partnership report, and you will find uh, exactly what I'm telling you there. So it is not my personal view, it is an official view of the European Union. Okay? So Anything else? I, I, ah, you I, have will to I, I will run. I will run. Okay, last question. Yeah, I think I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I think I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I think I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Well, we interpret yesterday's statement as a very strong commitment for uh, deep reforms. We haven't had any opportunity with the Armenian government, with the Minister of Justice or other people to discuss in detail their plans. Uh, so I cannot uh, go into details now. Uh, but uh, politically, as a statement, I think what uh, uh, the Prime Minister said, said uh, is for us very clear. It is a very unequivocal and very strong commitment to uh, reforms in the field of justice. Today I heard the Minister of Justice uh, speaking about uh, the vetting of the judges and the Albanian example or the Albanian model. And indeed, uh, uh, as you know, the European Union uh, has worked very closely with the Albanian government and uh, the so-called Albanian model of uh, vetting is supported by the European Union. Uh, it is something for the Armenian side uh, to consider. As the minister said himself, this uh, model of reforms has uh, the uh, support, the clearance or whatever of the Venice Commission. The opinion of the Venice Commission about this model of reform is positive. So. Uh, if this is the way the uh, Armenian government wants to go, as I said, uh, referring to the opinion of the Venice Commission, referring to the well-tested models of reforms, we are with it. But we haven't yet discussed. But politically, I, I cannot uh, take it otherwise that it is a very strong and unequivocal commitment uh, to reform judiciary in Armenia.